Hey guys, today I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to build a vertical dipole out of two slinkies I got for less than eight bucks. Stick around. So today I'm going to have some antenna fun. This is just meant to be a fun experiment. You know, I've made a few... Um, slinky antennas before as a matter of fact one of my first videos a little over two years ago on the channel i took a nine to one uh qrp uh guys nine to one on on and built a vertical from a slinky and operated qrp and actually had some success with it and it works in dx with that vertical uh slinky that was a giant slinky a little bit bigger than uh what i'm going to use today today i'm going to use the uh the regular slinkies uh here at the these are the regular ones. Now, um, I've taken the regular ones and um, and I've actually put a little, like a, an end piece on a little piece of speaker wire and I did not solder it. I wrapped it around and taped it with electrical tape, but uh, I've got two of these. I'm going to do that. I've done this also vertically. You know, I, I had so much fun with the, uh, the vertical before that I ended up taking a, a Nelson uh, antenna, a nine to one, and, and a giant slinky over to Europe with me, to Poland, to the house I was at there, and built one in the backyard in Poland and just had a blast with it. That one actually really came, it ended up being a really great antenna, a lot of fun. So I'm gonna give that a shot, and uh, with, with that one as well, I used the Nelson with that. Um, having used those, I know everyone thinks a dipole, maybe a ballon or whatever. I'm gonna give it a shot with the nine to one, the LDG nine to one Unun to get started. Um, I have used, I tell you what, uh, I have the uh, Slink Tenna. It's uh, by, made by Quirky QRP, I believe. I've had it for years. And I took it to Hawaii with me and um, and tried to use it QRP. It didn't have a whole lot of success with it. But what I did, I put it out on the balcony at the, where I was staying there in Hawaii and really had a great time um, shortwave listening with it. So that antenna has a 9 to 1 in it as well. So I figured, you know, for this that being a dipole, this being a dipole, we'll start with this. I have some other transformers with me in case we need them. I will use them, but um, we'll see. Now, the length of this um, of these slinkies, I went online and I'm getting all kinds of stuff. You know, from you know, 67 feet, 60 feet. Uh, I've even saw somewhere I think saw like something 80 feet long. I think they may have been talking about the soup one. Me being an engineer, well, I measured the slinky, counted the numbers of coil. And did the math. So each and each one of these slinkies, roughly just under uh, 50 feet long. And I'm sorry, U.S. You can convert it. I'll convert it and put it on the screen for you. 50 feet. Uh, we're going to talk U.S. Uh, measurements here, Imperial. But anyway, um, so 50 feet each. So with the nine to one, I'm going to use my DX Commander pole, uh, some tape, put it up, and I will choke uh, choke the feed point. Uh, with my coax here and uh, we'll try to get on and see how this thing will work so let me get the antenna up i'll go over the antenna and then we'll get on and see if we can make some contacts well it's almost vertical <laughs> it's uh it's a little windy up here as you're probably hearing here uh there it is about uh i would say maybe three and a half four meters down i did not take the slinky all the way to the top it's about a half a meter from the top of the 10 this is a 10 meter dx commander expedition pole uh, there's the nine to one with my uh 50 foot of coax with a choke there at it um down and then what i did here with my jeep there's the dx commander pole in the uh you can see boy she's cranking and i'm about uh it starts maybe uh two and a half meters from the ground here there it goes, and it is windy, but there is a somewhat vertical dipole here uh, from two slinkies. I'm up on my favorite parking garage up high. That's uh, Norfolk, Virginia over there. This is here. I'm in Portsmouth. There's the uh, where I usually operate. There's my marina here, and um, let's go see what happens. Today's setup is the uh, Zygu G90 with, uh, I'll let you pronounce it. <laughs> Yeah, that name right there. That's my 20 amp hour LiPo 4 battery. Um, I tell you what, uh, I checked SWR on every band from 40, 20, uh, 17, 15, 12, and 10. 
and they're all very, very workable. So the nine to one was the way to get the uh, get it close to being resonant. And I'll let the uh, the reason why I'm using this radio, the amazing ATU, the tuner inside this thing is just like a number one. So that's why I broke out my G90 today. We'll try to tune this antenna and uh, and uh, make some contacts. Thank you, Kilosat. Thank you, Golf Free Quebec. Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. I thank you, your 5-9, number one. Again, please. 5 nine, zero, one, number one. Thank you, number one. Uh, that's a good one. Thank you. Kilo Z, Golf Free Quebec. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Ocean Radio, Mike Kyle. Good morning. A nice signal. You're 59. My name is Dima. Over. Uh, QSL, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Off and Lima Tango. You're 5 9 into Virginia. Thanks for coming back to me. Thanks for the also nice senior report. Thanks for the contact. Good day. XK4 OGO RMQA. Yeah, okay. Go for also. Thank you. 5929. Uh, QSL, you're 5908. Good luck. Radio Whiskey 3. Delta Uniform. Go. QSL, QSL, you're 5-9 into Norfolk, Virginia. They're in the southeastern corner of Virginia near the Atlantic. Thanks for taking the call. Roger, roger. This is Coastal Waves Walt, you got me. Hey, thank you so much for uh, for the kind words there. I appreciate it. 73, my friend. Kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Which is Delta, Oscar, Delta. QSL, this is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango in Norfolk, Virginia. You're 5'7 into southeastern Virginia. Okay, Walt, well, thanks for Virginia. Good luck. Yeah, QSL, the Minnesota Kisa Party, November 0, 0 12, Julia, Julia. So Delta, Oscar, Delta. QSL, Oscar, Delta, Oscar, Delta. Delta, Oscar, Delta. Delta, Oscar, Delta. Uniform Tango. Uh, the name here is Lance, Lima, Alpha, November, Charlie, Echo, and the Winona, Weekly, Windy, and November. Please uh, come back with your experience. Yes, Lance, thank you. The name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima, Tango. You're 5'7 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. QSL, QSL. Uh, thank you in 73. Alpha Delta Zero, Uniform Tango, QSL. Uh, QSL, you're 5 8 into Norfolk, Virginia. Thanks for, act, for activating. Thank you, 5 9 into Tango 1 4. QSL, you're 5 9 0 8. Uh, QSL, you're 5 8 into Virginia. Thanks for taking the call. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Ontario, thank you. Please copy, 5-9, zone 28, Roger. Roger, roger, you're 5-9, zone 08, 08. Number 8 in the road, sir. Have a great day, thank you. Thank you, 73. Bye-bye, thank you. You are that, Yankee United 5 Radio, thank you, contact. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Walter in Virginia. Thanks for hanging with me, man. Hey, no worries. Thanks for taking the call. You're 5858 five, into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Copy 
the 5-8, and I give you a 5-9. Great signal down here in South Alabama. Over. Hey, thanks for South Alabama, and thanks for activating. Good to pick you up and get you in the log. 73, my friend. Much appreciated, man. 73, have a great one. QSL, QSL, you're 5-3, 5-3 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia, on the other side of the state there. Thanks for activating. Hey, thanks so much for activating. Good to get you in the log. 73. Hey, that was fun. That was a fun antenna to build. And uh, wow, I'm a little surprised at how well it performed. Um, I knew, you know, I threw it up thinking I, I would make some contacts, but uh, the DX uh, it, it was really cool. Hey, I made a contact on every band from 10 to 40 meters. Um, it's uh, midday here and I'm making 40 meter, a lot, lot of POTA. It, this is a Saturday as I'm filming this, a uh, lot of POTA on uh, 20 and 40 here in the States uh, uh, this time of day. And I'm uh, making those photo contacts. Uh, the, what was it? There was a Minnesota QSO party going on. Um, a, uh, a European contest, which I really screwed up on the first one I made. I, I said zero one. Um, actually my zone, I was supposed to use zero eight. And I, 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 hey, I didn't know what was going on. I went and checked after I made that one. I said, I don't know if that's right. And, um, and contests are cool sometimes when you want to like make some quick hit DX, you know, DX contacts with it or whatever. But, um, a lot of fun. That was a fun antenna to build. And, uh, I want to maybe put something up similar to it again instead of being elevated up here. Although I'm sure the elevation really helped me. Um, wouldn't mind being down by the water. Um, and if you've watched a few videos ago, I can't, I, I like, I would rather be down there by the water. But uh, it's winter time. Like right now, it's chilly, and I really cold. And the boats and everybody are their heaters and generators and everything going on. The noise down there is just unbelievable, and it's really it wreaks havoc when you're trying to do like what I'm trying to do today. So I'm um, a little tough, but uh, hey, I had a good time. I really did. I, I got out here and, and and made an antenna and got it up and, and worked some DX. And worked every band from 10 to 40 meters. So I, I'm pleased with it. I'd like to encourage you to get out and try this thing, man. Go get two, zinc, two uh, regular slinkies and, uh, and a pole. Maybe not up high on a windy day like this. I got to tell you something. Um, Callum, if you're watching, that DX Commander uh, Expedition Pole, the 10 meter Expedition Pole, I have beat that thing to death and put it through living hell and it is still holding up so there's a testament to the dx commander 10 meter um, expedition pole it's holding up really good and uh i am abusing the heck out of it and uh but it's it, it's hanging in there hey if you enjoy this type of uh, video of uh, experimenting i love I, there's a little bit of something for everybody in ham radio my big interest in ham radio is is the ionosphere and propagation and what's going on there. And I also like to experiment with building different antennas and DXing and doing that type of thing on HF. So if you're into that, that I'm heavy into that. Um, please like and subscribe. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.